First of all, I want to give honor to God, who's the head of my life. Uh, I bring you greetings from the Sanders family. Uh, I got in a discussion last night with my neighbor, and he asked me would I come down and do a video. So a lot transpired, and I decided, okay, he wanted to talk about 2020 and some of the learnings. And uh, we've been taking a class, and one of the things that stood out in my mind uh, was servant leader. And uh, I thought about the life of Jesus as a man, as he walked among us. And the greatest lesson that Jesus taught his disciples were to be better servants, better givers. All right. yeah. This has been a challenging year for all of us. Yeah. This year has tested all our strengths and faith. Some lost loved ones, myself included. Right. Some lost their jobs. All right. All right. Some lost their freedoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some even lost their minds. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to say that God is in control. Amen. All right. All right. While sitting right in this, I thought about my role as a man, as a father, as a husband, All right. and as a leader of this community. Yeah. As I sat looking over my life as a father, a husband, a provider, it's not a role that get a lot of praise, Amen. but it must be done. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God has blessed my family and I for a mighty long time. Man. He protected us from the dangers of the world. He made a way out of no way. Amen. I became a servant for my family. That what allowed me to lead them. And that is the message that Jesus wants us to follow. Yeah. In order to lead, you must serve. All right. Yeah. All right. Jesus was a servant leader. And he stayed on God's mission. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. We have to stand on our core values, which should line up with God's mission. Yeah. We need to be up changing minds and lives in our community. All right. Yeah. Brothers, lifting brothers up. Amen. Amen. If you truly want to do God's will, you have to put your hand in God's hand and allow him to lead me. Thank you.